Hi, I'm John Sanchez, Managing Director of FPA Group. I just wanted to introduce you to a small sample of what we offer. Welcome to the Art and Science of Business Storytelling. Stories are a fundamental way that human beings organize and store information. A story goes somewhere and it follows a character with purpose through a series of events. Characters encounter obstacles along their journey and in dealing with them, we often see heroes emerge. And by the end of a story, characters arrive at a target destination fulfilling the reason for the story having been told. Research shows that stories work. In their best-selling book, Made to Stick, the Heath brothers, Chip and Dan, talked about studies that showed that most people barely remember facts on their own, but when facts are wrapped up in a story, they're more than 20 times as likely to remember them. Storytelling has evolved over the years. Cavemen told stories with no written word or images. They just shared stories verbally in person. Images and later text were added as storytelling evolved, and then photos came along, and then video was yet another evolution of storytelling. Numbers are the language of business, so it's no surprise that when we look specifically at the business use of storytelling, spreadsheets are one of the tools that have been used to help paint a picture of what's going on in an organization. They've evolved over the years, but they're still a crude tool in the overall scheme of things when it comes to telling effective stories. When PowerPoint hit the scene many years ago, many business people jumped at the opportunity to share graphs and charts. But other than that, most PowerPoint slides were just jam packed with text. The more recent developments in presentation software include many data visualization tools. They allow us to present data visually with a greater variety of graphs, charts, maps, and other visuals. The technology today is great, but at the end of the day, it only gives us tools to tell our stories. We as storytellers still have to craft engaging stories. While the tools we have to tell stories has evolved, people's attention span seems to be going in the opposite direction. Since 2000, average attention spans have dropped and we're perilously close to the fleeting attention span of the average goldfish. So unless your audience lives in a fishbowl, you need to make sure you develop your stories carefully with your specific audience in mind. You have science on your side, so when you understand business storytelling, you'll have no problem increasing the effectiveness of your communication with stories. Dr. Paul Zacks directs the Center for Neuroeconomic Studies at Claremont Graduate University, and his research tells us that stories help our brain produce cortisol which helps us focus. They also trigger the release of oxytocin, which makes us feel good and promotes connection and empathy. And stories can also lead to our brains delivering a hit of dopamine, a chemical that makes us feel hopeful and optimistic. All these chemical reactions in your brain bring stories to life by harnessing people's focus and emotion. Even with all this science on your side, in some business environments, you may hear objections like stories are only for kids. Storytelling is difficult. I don't know how to do that. And if I tell stories, people won't take me seriously. But when you know how to deal with these objections, you'll win people over about the power of storytelling. Think about some of the stories you remember from your childhood. Then think about some newer stories and you may realize what they have in common is that they captured your imagination and their message stuck with you. Depending on when you grew up, you may remember the story of Mark Zuckerberg bringing Facebook to life more than some old fairy tales. That's a good example of how the elements of stories made a business a cultural icon. Our storytelling for business training will equip you with the tools to start using stories to engage your audience and communicate effectively. Here's what our course covers. As with any good story, we'll start with why. We'll talk about how to tailor your stories to your audience, and then we'll get into some specific how-tos as we go through the elements of effective stories. To find out more or to schedule a training for your organization, give me a call or send me an email. 
I'll be happy to discuss your training needs and how we can be of service.